this video, we'll be showing you how to convert the Series F 30 to 100 amp double throw safety switches from one load being fed from two separate power sources to one power source feeding two separate loads. Before doing this procedure, make sure to consult all of the safety information provided with the switch and never work on energized equipment. The first step, if your switch already has the fuses installed, would be to remove the fuses. Then, using a Torx screwdriver, you would remove the arc shields by removing this screw and this screw and retaining the arc shields. After removing the arc shields, you will then remove the lugs on the lower switch base assemblies and load base assemblies using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now with the lugs removed on the lower side switch base and load base assemblies, you will remove the lugs on the top side switch base assembly, again using a Phillips head screwdriver. You will then remove the lugs on the top load base assembly while keeping the jumper wires attached. You will now see that all of the lugs have been removed from the switch, both on the lower side and upper side. You will then reattach the lugs to both the upper load base and lower load base. You will then loosen the mechanical lug on the jumper wires and turn it 180 degrees and then re-tighten so that it faces the other way. Once you have rotated the mechanical lug 180 degrees, you will then reinstall the compression part on the rightmost pole and then reinstall the mechanical lug over it. You will then take the mechanical lug part of the jumper wire put it in place on the rightmost pole of the lower end switch base and retighten. You will then repeat for the center and left poles in that order. Once you have your jumper wires installed, you will then reinstall your arc shields. Once you have your arc shields installed, you are free to reinstall your fuses as your switch is now configured for one power source feeding two separate loads.